Hey friends, welcome back to Daily Sews and Stuff. If you're a part of the Projectors for Sewing Facebook group, or you follow my page, Daily Sews and Stuff on Facebook, or you're part of my Facebook group, Daily Sews and Stuff Friends on Facebook, first of all, why are you not? I've digressed. The second thing is, you'll know that this is not the video I intended to put out today. I was totally on board with putting out a video similar to my ultra short throw video that would be starting from scratch to put up your short throw projector. Instead, as you may have noticed, this video is called The Trouble with Mounts. And yeah, I had trouble with my mount. The trouble with mounts for us projector sewists is that we're not pointing our projector at a vertical surface. We are pointing our projector at a horizontal surface. Projectors and projector mounts are made to point at the vertical surface of a wall, movie screen, what have you, right? Almost anywhere you see a projector, it's up on the wall. But as projector sewists want to project down on a horizontal surface so we can cut our fabric on a table, right? Cutting the fabric on the wall wouldn't work out so well. So since projectors generally point at a vertical surface, projector mounts are designed to hold the projector horizontally in order to point it at a vertical surface. I know this is kind of confusing. I'm gonna pop up a silly little image that should explain this. So, what do we do? We need our projectors to point down. We need them pointed at a horizontal surface. The projector needs to be held in a vertical position. If mounts aren't designed for that, what do we do? I have a few thoughts and suggestions and ideas and I'm gonna leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger because one of my ideas is something I can't even test yet. But I am gonna leave you with some solutions that we can add to as better ideas come out. So if you have what I call an Amazon projector, and that's those projectors that are kind of mini projectors, they kind of walk that line between short throw and long throw. They're very popular in the projectors for sewing group and they generally are bought from Amazon. So I've taken to calling them the Amazon projectors. Um, those are things like the one I have here, that's a Turwell, a Vivimage, um, an Apeman, a Bowmaker, there's several other that are popular and that are maybe not so popular, but do work. Um, so if you have a projector like that, they tend to be rather small and pretty lightweight. And so basic niche is a great option. <laughs> One of our fellow projector for sewing group members, Carissa Thompson makes these mounts at her basic niche metal working business. And she is able to make them purpose built for what we're doing. So it's a great option. You hang this to the wall. Ceiling. I most definitely meant ceiling right then. It's pointing down right here through the lens. It's perfect. I haven't actually mounted mine yet, but plenty of people in the group have and they love them. There's a lot of other kind of self-made solutions, such as using an L bracket or a hinged piece of plywood I've even seen people do it with zip ties. This is another brilliant solution come up with by fellow group member Corinne Elizabeth. And she just placed a metal shelving unit across two door jams and was able to put her projector on top of that. People are able to make temporary mounts with these because they're so lightweight. They can put them on tripods, on tension rods, on seriously, the, the options are fairly limitless. Um, and definitely check out the group to see what solutions people have come up with. But they do have trouble when they, tr when they try to use those ball mount projector mounts because they are made to hold your projector. Because they're made to hold your projector like this, not like this. This particular one wouldn't work with a ball mount, but it has three mounting screws here that could be mounted with, but again, there we go. This is a great price. It's supporting a small business um, and another fellow projector sewer, and it works for what we need it to. It's not trying to circumvent how the mount was intended to be used. It's just what it's supposed to do. So, 
definitely recommend the basic niche option. Along the lines of the basic niche option, if you have a vaulted ceiling, um, there is a option on the website to buy a second piece that will make it work on those angled vaulted ceilings. But what if you're working with another projector, a short throw, an ultra short throw, something that a basic niche mount is not going to work for? Well, here's some other options. Here's my short throw, and it is mounted with a projector mount, and it worked for me for over a year um, in my old craft room, in our rental house, both times, um, I had to recalibrate it once at each place. And it was never really super easy to calibrate um, because this mount is made to be like this. We've got it turned, instead of being this way like it wants it to be, we've got it turned like this. Which means it's just fighting gravity in a way it wasn't designed to fight gravity. And over time, We've had to tighten the screws more and more and more to hold it in place, and they're just not holding anymore. So my proposed solution for this is to try a TV mount. Because they're so thin, the TVs obviously are meant to be hung in a vertical position. And so I think, I hope, that if we use that on our projector, that it will be made to hold the weight in that way, and maybe it will work. So I have one coming in the mail and I'm definitely gonna test it out and film it and share that with you guys as that happens. But this mount just isn't working for me anymore. We got it calibrated perfectly last night, um, or at least close enough. And I was happy with it and I was ready to use it. And my husband closed the door to this room and not, it knocked it off, off calibration. We just, we tried to get it back and we just couldn't get it to hold anymore. So that's the problem with this. And might there be a solution that we could come up with to shore this up in a certain way that would make it work better? Maybe. Um, I certainly would be willing to try a lot harder if I didn't find a TV mount that I hope will work for $17. So I don't know, we'll see what happens and see what we can figure out and how to make work and show you guys. But this, it's probably not such a bad choice for a lot of people, but for me, it just wasn't working. My main concern right now about the TV mount is that I don't know if it's going to connect in the places I need it to connect, you know, because that's where the holes are on the projector. That's what we will be testing out for sure first thing, and we'll see what works and what doesn't. For an ultra short throw, you have a few different options. So this mount, is actually a ready-made Epson ultra short throw projector mount. It's made for this part that's sitting down here on my Alex shelf that's put together the right way now, um, to be against the wall. In fact, there's pieces of drywall kind of permanently stuck to this wherever it was put up on the wall before. And there's a piece of wood in here that you can see and a screw that you probably can't that um, show you how we had to modify it to make it work. And I'll pop in a recording I took earlier here. Okay, quick video without a microphone, hoping this captures and makes sense. All right, I'm trying to set up this ultra short throw stand. And the problem is, anytime I adjust these set screws to change the pitch, the roll, the yaw, it won't actually change because this is made for this to touch the wall, not the horizontal surface. So what's happening is if it were attached to the wall, this would be catching on this and they would be connected, but they're not. And if I put some pressure against there, I can make them where they're supposed to be, but that's not gonna hold permanently. So, but you can see where it's pretty obvious that if this was hanging the way it was supposed to, gravity would work to make this mount work together. But instead of, but instead, because it was up like this, gravity was working against it and it wasn't able to hold the position where it needed to. However, we solved that problem with a metal self-tapping screw to put two pieces together the way they should be and then a block of wood just to kind of shore things up where that it needed to be shored up. 
Another solution would be to have somebody make you a mount. Um, my husband has been promising for a while that he would make plans for that, and obviously he hasn't even made me one yet. We don't have plans yet. Um, we have, you know, renovated a house, bought a new house, done a couple things to that house. I mean, he's been busy. The world doesn't completely revolve around me. But, um, so that will be an option coming in the future. There are some mounts that people have come up with, again, on the Projectors for Sewing group that you can go check out and see if one of those solutions works for you. Or you can check out my other video where I showed you, you don't even need a mount. You can make it work with books and pieces of folded up paper. Maybe that's not the best solution. It's not an extremely permanent solution, but it does work. And in some ways it was easier to um, calibrate that way than it was to do this because this one uses three set screws, actually four set screws to manipulate the projector. And it was a little bit harder than thinking, okay, this corresponding corner is what needs to move. So it is certainly something for you to think about as you're going through your projector journey. As frustrated as I am with my mount and the fact that I could not get my craft room up and going yesterday the way I intended to, I am happy with the workaround I found for the ultra short throw projector. I know I can get that basic niche mount interwell projector put up and that will be another option for me. And I'm excited about trying something new because I've long thought that the TV stands might really be helpful for our short throw projectors because of the way they're designed. But I've also kind of not been sure that it would work because of the way they're designed. So we shall see what ends up working out. And I hate to leave the video on a note that's less than positive, but you know what? I'm kind of feeling a little defeated about things too right now. So I want to share all the different parts of the journey, even when they don't have a super happy ending yet. Stay tuned. The short throw projector video is coming very soon. And the basic niche mount and Amazon projector video is coming really soon as well. And I've got a lot more in store planned for this channel. I am so close to being monetized. And so if you could share these videos with your friends and watch a few more, that would be awesome. Uh, it would get me monetized so that YouTube would pay me for the ads that they run on my videos anyway. Once this channel is monetized, I have some fun plans that include giveaways. You know, nobody needs four projectors. So stay tuned. Keep watching my videos, like, subscribe, and comment.